Hi everyone and welcome! I'm really glad you're joining me today. Someone had asked me recently to make a soap for them. For her husband actually. And she wanted it to be um, celestial in nature. Something I haven't done very much. Many others have done beautiful work <laughs> in soap to make it look like galaxies and stars and all those sort of wonderful things. But then I remembered that years ago, I purchased a silver print of the moon. Long story short, the during the uh, one of the Apollo missions, this one was taken on Apollo 8, they had cameras. This was way back, a long time ago, right? Um, but they took a photograph of the moon. This is like a 10 mile area of the surface of the moon with their cameras. And this is actually a photograph taken from their cameras. This is a real photograph, not a copy of the photograph, but an actual photograph. Anyway, I had purchased this back in 2001 from, this was back when Sotheby's.com was still around. This was before eBay was really a thing, 2001. So we're talking about 20 years ago. I made this purchase in April of 2001. Back when I purchased this, I think I spent like $100 for it. Now it's valued at thousands of dollars, and that's only because there is a great interest in this kind of stuff. But this, because this individual wanted something kind of celestial in nature, her husband is actually very much a, her words, a nerd about space. <laughs> and since this is the one thing I have reminiscent of that kind of thing, I thought this is what I would base my soap on. So I'm going to do my best. I, I'm not going to try to make a copy of this, but I would like some of these. Within the silver print, there are sort of some, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, I know, but there are some dark black, and then there are some like kind of bluish areas. It's because of the type of photography that was used and almost some green gradations in here. So even though this was a black and white photo, let's be very clear about that. It's not actually green or blues, but because of the shading, it just kind of gives that impression. So I'm gonna kind of go with that. And through the use of some natural things, I'm going to use some activated charcoal, of course, uh, just sort of the base color of the soap. And then I'm going to introduce something like Alkanet to kind of give that purpley, bluish, dark color throughout it. And I'm going to throw in, I think, a little spinach leaf, a light amount of it. Spinach leaf, some kale leaf, um, and some spirulina mixed together to give some very light, light, light green tinting to sort of give some of these variations in here. I don't know that it's going to work that well. Um, this is sort of a, an adventure for me. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk about the inspiration. And uh, now I'm going to put this together. And I asked what fragrance that he liked. And so we came upon Rosemary Mint, which is one of my favorites too, uh, which goes to show a lot of men do like florally scents, even though the rosemary scent isn't from the flower, it's actually from the leaves, but a lot of us do enjoy that. All right, so I'm going to start putting this together. Come along with me and let's have some fun. All right, so I'm now going to, these are my butters and oils here. Um, the usual, this is a 
this is just a dual butter. This has shea and cocoa butter along with the olive oil, castor oil, and others, uh, golden jojoba oil in this as well. All right, so let's get the stick blender on this. And our base color I will keep separate here so I'm just going to hit each of these with the stick Oop. got a little tangled in my light there we go aside here all right so I'm going to start with the base bit of the purple the green And just a little bit of the black as a separator. I just thought this would be a better way to get a more even sized bar. Sorry, everything kind of twisted on me there. Well, actually that does bring out some of the nicer tones. or not tones, patterns, I should say. That rosemary mint is just delicious. Yeah, that makes some cute little sized bars.
right? So I'm going to keep on these, get these all cut, cleaned up, and I'll see you back in a few minutes and we'll take a look at all the bars. All right, let's take a look at them. Now I've started cleaning them up and uh, one thing I haven't done because they're they're not soft by any means. They're they're well formed, but I haven't stamped them yet. But I just wanted to show you how nice they came out. Do they look like the moon? I'm not so sure about that, <laughs> but I think that they look pretty cool. Um, in retrospect, I would have. This, I mean, this looks more like the galaxy where this maybe could be like the moon surface, some of these. Um, I think I would have kept finer lines because the lines pretty much disappeared when I poured the way I poured it, which I intended for it to do. I know that sounds like when you mess something up, you go, I meant to do that. <laughs> and maybe there is some of that, but... Uh, I'm still pleased. I think that they're nice looking. They're not perfect. They, uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They smell good. They, I think they look great. These are going to measure in at about five ounces each. They're not huge bars like I usually make. Um, but I think some people actually appreciate that because some are rather hard to use. But, um, I mean four small hands, so these are more manageable size-wise. I hope you enjoyed this everyone. I did have fun putting this one together and I really hope that her husband enjoys these. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. Um, I She only bought two or four bars. You know I have to look, but I four bars. So the rest of these, when they're ready, I'll put them in the store. And so if you're interested in them, they'll be there. So I really appreciate you all coming along on this journey with me today. I had a lot of fun with this one. I'll see you back soon, everyone. Goodbye.